Here's another quick, simple uh, example of calculating the Thevenin equivalent circuit. Uh, here they're asking us to find the Thevenin equivalent for the resistor R. So what that means then is we should consider this as terminals right here. And so uh, for calculation purposes, uh, we would consider the load resistor gone. So this load resistor is not here. So now they want us to find the Thevenin equivalent of this circuit here. So this is easy enough. So the first thing we want to do uh, is calculate R Thevenin. And so R Thevenin, of course, is looking back into this circuit here. And remember, we short out uh, voltage sources when we do that. So we can short this guy out here. And so we put a short in place with that. And if there were current sources, we would open circuit them, but there aren't any. Uh, so looking at this, we should be able to see that we have a 6 and a 12 in parallel. And then those are in series with this 5. So if we were to calculate then um, our R Thevenin, What that means is then is we would have uh, five um, plus, as they're in series, six parallel with 12. And so we can rewrite that then as five plus six times 12 over six plus 12. And when you calculate that out, that comes to nine ohms. So that's our Thevenin resistance. So now we can reset this part of the circuit here. And so again, we're only considering between these two terminals. And again, we can uh, act as if this resistor is not here. That's what we'll be connecting to our Thevenin equivalent. And so now uh, we need to determine what is the open circuit voltage between these terminals? So that's the voltage drop uh, basically across this R2 because there's no current. With this thing open circuited, there'd be no current flow here. So that doesn't contribute. So really, we're just looking for uh, the voltage drop across this R2 circuit here and so this is just a voltage divider right so remember when we have a voltage divider um, V open circuit then it's just the voltage division of 36 volts that's our source voltage and then it's times 12 which is the resistor we're wanting to know the voltage across, and that's going to be over the total resistance. That's both these guys, so that'd be 6 plus 12. And so when we calculate that, punch it into our calculator, uh, we should get 24 volts. So now we have our Thevenin resistance, and we have our open circuit voltage. We have everything we need to draw the Thevenin equivalent circuit between the two terminals. So remember, a Thevenin equivalent has a voltage source, uh, which in this case is going to be the open circuit voltage, which is 24 volts. And that will be in series with a resistor, which is our Thevenin resistance of 9 ohms. And again, this is where, where the terminals are that we were originally considering. So we could replace everything between uh, these two red terminals with this, and it should function the same once the load resistance is put back on.